Welcome back to another day here on the Pixelborn Lorcana Client. Today I am losing my voice. It hurts for some reason. I must have snored all night because uh, it's super painful. So my commentary today may be a little less than it usually is. But we're going to jump into these games with our third deck from our top five choices for the set championships and the first challenger event in Atlanta. Ruby Sapphire Control. This deck wants to hit the ground with removal. It wants to ramp. It wants to draw cards. That's basically all it does. It draws a card, it does the ramp, and it does the destruction. That, it does all the things. The three things. It does the three things very well. Playing against this deck, you may have noticed, man, my opponent top decks really well. It's because it only does three things. It has a 33% chance at any given time to do the thing it wants to do. So yeah, it can be frustrating to play against, but it's a blast to play with. And it does allow you to kind of say, hey, I can kind of gamble on this play because I have a very high probability of getting the things I'm looking for, which is really nice. Consistency in a deck is very powerful. Now, if you want a full breakdown of exactly how this deck works with the Lucky Dimes, the Mauis, the Beep Bears, the Fish Bones, the Lady Tremaines, the Medusas, all of it, my original top five deck video for the Into the Inklands championship set and thing and then the uh, the challenger events that video will have a 10 minute breakdown of how this deck wants to function go check it out there in the meantime we are doing patreon uh tier three i keep calling it tier three but it's called the patreon raffle that's it's in patreon and it's for the patreon raffle join that tier you'll get access to you should be seeing prizes on your screen right now we are giving away booster boxes I'm giving away enchanted cards, and it's going to be a first, second, third place grand prize this month. Uh, speaking of Patreon, I've also decided to add a $1 tier. Some of you guys I know have messaged me privately saying that you would love to support, but the $5 tier is just too much. So uh, the cheapest tier I can make is a $1 tier, so I put that out there just for you guys. Just know, if you do the math, and it's really weird to think about, but if you do the math, you take how much I get paid on each, any particular video, divide it by the number of people who viewed it, your views on the low end, I'm sorry, on the high end, on the high end, your views on the high end are worth about one penny. One penny per view. That's on the high end. So donating a dollar to the Patreon, honestly, that one dollar a month is worth more than if you watched every single one of my videos that released every day, right? So if you're watching 30 videos a month, that dollar is still worth almost three and a half times more than just simply watching. So if you feel like helping out the channel, that is a fantastic way to do it. And it also doesn't break the bank. It's a great way to be a part of the community there. Also, when I do private behind the scenes paywalls, Patreon posts, you'll just have access to it for literally a buck a month, which is pretty cool. I'm going to be making a much greater effort to share things on Patreon. I've been a little wobbly about it, but that's enough rambling on that. I'm sure most of you skipped past this already. Leave a comment down below letting me know that if you skipped it or not. <laughs> Obviously, if you skipped it, you won't see that. Let's jump in and see how well the Ruby Sapphire Control does. Hmm. Second, see? I tell ya! I said it in yesterday's video, always go with second. Uh, Popsicle Hiram, looking really good. I would like to have a turn two filler that wasn't the queen, but I suppose the queen could be fine. I actually really like the hand. Let's just throw one here on back here. Tomatoa, fantastic inkable right there. Queen, all right, this is definitely an amber steel deck. Two Tomatoas, half of them. Uh, I forgot to play Popsicle. Okay. There's plenty of time for it. Oh, bare necessities. Should have, uh, should have played my popsicle. I had plenty of time for it. All right. Lucky enough to get the Cinderella gone. That's what Queen of Hearts is for. My throat is absolutely murdering me today, so if my commentary is a little lax, even speaking these words, I just feel it just destroying me. Alright. 
Mickey Mouse. Get the rip. We'll be setting up for Maui. Maui takes down either of these when they uh, shift. Hopefully we won't see a shift and then a whole new world. A do nothing Rapunzel. I do like that. Hmm. A lot of good options. Alright. Well, we do take down the queen first, I think. Because a shift queen lets all of their jink take down Maui, and I don't want that. Well, Madame Medusa has a target. Probably still have a Madame Medusa. Ooh, I don't. Close, though. Alright, well, Robin Hood dies to Maui. Look at that, and I'm set up for a poopsicle harem. Man, I think they're just playing cards to play cards at this point. Hmm. Well, I could take control of this board here. It has to be banished in a challenge. So Beaver Bear is slightly better, I think. Tough decisions here. How wide do they want to go? That's my question. Let's just do it. So if we're going to lose a Maui anyway, we may as well have a Maui that only has one damage on him. Alright, now if the opponent ever makes the mistake of going wide, be prepared. Now of course, a whole new world's not great, we'll lose half of our be prepared in a single whole new world. Well, there goes one of the whole new worlds. It's the only options. They're burning through all their cards really fast again. It's definitely a whole new world in their hand. Well, Maui doesn't really have a choice but to attack. Hmm, yeah, I think we're drawn with Hiram here. Ooh, almost completely whiffed on the ink entirely again. A lot of uninkables. We get a Mickey Mouse down. Alright, we should be able to double cast a lot of things with our deck now. Hard casting a Robin Hood. And they had a Cinderella. That should take care of Maui, I think. Yep. I'd love to see an Inkable here. Ugh. Ugh. Well, because I want to play Hades. Gets rid of Robin Hood. And I want to play a Stitch Trace with Cinderella instead of attacking with both my Mickey Mouse. Hmm, but I think the card draw here is just better. Alright, Hades, get rid of Robin Hood. They do not get to draw a card. Two Mickey Mouse attacks. Not what I wanted to do, I'd rather quest with them. Poopsicle. Hear him. I'm expecting a whole new world out of the opponent, but they're going to have to pay for it, which is not going to be great for them. I will ink, because I do expect the whole new world. I'd love to have gotten this fishbone. Oh, and the concession! I guess they just didn't have it. Alright. Game two. Now that my head's cleared up a little bit, my throat still is awful. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make something of this work. Uh, I don't need two queens. 
probably don't need two popsicles either. Yeah, let's just work with our curve. Okay, Maleficent is great ink here. Sad boy beast. Robin of the hood. Alright, Maleficent down. This time we won't forget to popsicle. Hazy brain clearing up. <laughs> I'm sure I got several comments about missing the popsicle play. Mr. Shmee. Okay. Okay. Dragon down. Queen stops the Robin Hood shift. Love it. We're a control deck. We just want the board to be stable, our opponent to run out of resources, and then we win the game. Alright, Mr. Smee is going for it. Question is, do I take the opportunity to play my ramp? And I think think mm, I think I still have to take down Mr. Smee because next turn they gain four and then they're gonna be way ahead of me if I had to be prepared maybe it, it would be a fishbone situation there's the flute We must be looking forward to a whole new world here, I'm thinking. If that's the case, you definitely come down. I will activate you. And I'm keeping the Maui, just in case. I am expecting a whole new world to be played here. Ah, good, no whole new world. Alright, it's weird, but we're gonna do the lucky dime here. I think Madame Medusa takes down this Mr. Smee. And now if that one does anything, it just unalives itself. Oh, the Rapunzel. Naturally. It's a good synergy. But it's time to just take control of this board, honestly. We'll take down the Smee. Ink the Tamatoa. Hades away. Ooh, this is a tough one. I think we're gonna Hades away the Cinderella. So there's no shift Cinderella shenanigans. And I'll crack the popsicle so Rapunzel doesn't get a free, free kill on the board. We don't want that. Especially with other Rapunzels in the deck. Drawn more cards. That would not be good. Hmm, tough one. More removal or hear him? I think I'll take more removal. Time to start questing. Swords. And a second swords. And a second swords. Hades still survives. Maui's looking good. I would have to trade Hades to keep the board clear, though. I don't like that, but I think that's what's going to happen. Hmm. Because all their songs are just devastating. But... I'm not going to win this game by getting rid of my pieces that quest. 
Zeus takes out Maui. Bear Necessities misses. They do get a lore off of it though. Guaranteed quest with the aerial because Medusa takes it out. We will get rid of you. Alright, time to get back into this game. The question is, do I instantly try to heal Hades here? There's a lot that can take him down in steel, so I think I do instantly heal him. Alright, fast turn. Robin of the Hood. Uh, ooh, Lucky Dime. Yeah, I think it's time for a Lucky Dime. It's a little tough to do this, because just any damage spell in Robin Hood is in a good situation. get to draw cards off of it. They're gonna draw even more cards when they Maui with it. Of course it was Rapunzel in the hand and they have happen to have a six toughness character. <laughs> well played. All right well Maui takes down Robin Hood. We do play a Boopsicle. Okay, that's what I thought. I would rather Lucky Dime. And I'll blow up the Boopsicle. Save the Hades. Not guaranteed survival, but... They have to double attack here to take down Hades. Or there they go, they just pick up damage. Oh, what, what are they gonna do? It's gonna be close. There's strength. That gets rid of Hades. Medusa, really? I guess they're gonna attack Hades. Oh, that's so sketchy. Leaving a lucky dime. Get rid of Maui. Like, what if I Tomatoa off the top? Ooh, not enough, is it? Take out the two. They just need a song and they win. I need to find something else. Stitch. Can I play both? I can't play both. Oh no. I needed to be able to play both. Lady Tremaine doesn't let me choose either. So it's, I definitely don't get to take Rapunzel off the board. Very close, but not good enough. Well, let's see. We're going to go into a game three here, but I do want to see what my opponent would rather keep in this situation. Gets rid of the aerial. Makes sense because it turns off the Hades attack. Lucky dumb the Hades, get all the way up to here, and then we will concede because opponent just wins. Alright. Alright, pretty much controlling our opponent all the way to the very end, going second. What can we do when we go first? Uh, with this opening hand, not a lot, if I'm being honest. Alright, I need some curve fillers. Queen's good. Don't care for the fish hook in this situation. Um, hmm. I would like to have ink. Stitch is great for keeping the board clear early. Yeah, I'll take the rush. I'll take the rush. My opponent doesn't know what to do. They've never gone second before. Beastie boy into Robin of the Hood. A little bit of a tough situation here because I could end up picking up 
couple items potentially making here I'm really good but Maui's just so strong maybe I should have picked up double here I'm on that last play what do we got in this deck 19 uninkables oh yeah and that's a lot I don't like that either of my turn two plays are not that great I will get you down they shouldn't have a song. Fire the Cannons does exist, but they sh they're probably not playing it. So they shouldn't have a way to deal with Queen instantly. Another Robin of the Hood. And a Queen. Opponent's just going wide, going fast. You know, I think I'm just happy to have the trade. little unhappy about not having my turn three play I definitely don't want to run stitch into their turn three because then they could just cast let the storm rage on there's a shift I do like this this does set me up for a stitch let's see if they have a whole new world though no whole new world they don't want to quest they're too scared double here I'm not gonna cut it here Well, there's the popsicle to go with the Hiram. I think I'm taking it. Okay. So they're just filtering storm. All right, Queen continues to do nothing. Get a poop sickle down. Let's play a hear him. There's a be prepared. I do like that. I'm only going to six next turn. That's a Medusa. Doesn't take out Queens. A lot of other stuff I have does take out Queens though. Let's get rid of the Robin Hood. Let's open them up to wanting to do something with their Queen. I got a, I got a couple things for them to deal with it. I'm just waiting for that whole new world. Still not gonna go for it. Uh, let's take a fish hook. I'll get it down into play. It could become relevant here. Do I draw cards? I think I pass on drawing the cards. Fishhook could still be good. The evasive could be important. Well, there goes some be prepared. Still nothing from the opponent. I will take it. I think I'm going to trade the fishbone here. For a couple of cards. Okay, well, I'll get another fishbone down, I guess. How much does this cost? It costs two. And I haven't inked yet. Alright, let's ink. Let's just get another one down. And just for funsies, let's, uh... Let's give Hiram some evasive. That's one way to still do damage to him. Man, opponent's playing very conservatively over there with, with that queen. Let's draw some cards. Dragon, that's what I want to see. I will ink a Maui, I'll play a dragon. Got him. Wasn't doing anything for him anyway. If 
Alright, they know I still have a Maui and a Madame Medusa. There goes the, the, the dragon. Alright, now opponent's gonna be in a, a little bit of a pickle here. Start with the poop sickle. Man, I got a lot of stuff I can draw here. Ooh, a dime. I will play the dime. May as well activate the dime too. Fantastic. All right. Now I just got to start playing out my characters. Opponent doesn't seem to really have a way to deal with anything. And there it is. They don't have a way to deal with it. Second, second, second. Man. <laughs> I can't catch a break. I can't go first in hardcore, can I? Uh, let's see. Turn one's looking good. I don't have a turn two play. Let's get rid of, uh, dragon. Technically, I could play this as a turn two. Yeah, let's send those two back. Popsicle, hopefully a turn two, Mickey Mouse. All right, looks like my turn two is going to be some developing of the brains. Or at least one brain. We will see. Steel, Amber Steel. Amber Steel. It's Steel, Amber Steel. <laughs> oh my goodness, a dragon. Didn't I just send one of you back in the mullion? Alright, bare necessities down. Don't mind that. Oh, it's gonna be the Bridelands version. That's what Maui's are for. Alright, we're gonna have to start digging for Maui's. I have no turn two play, so let's develop. Green Rush is good, but I won't be able to do anything with it this turn. Looks like I'm inking a dragon. Feels bad. That's pretty much my only play. I've been hearing rumors about a Pride Land deck floating around that's doing well. And I've been playing a lot of steel with cards designed to destroy locations. And now that I'm not playing steel, I've come across the first Pride Lands deck. They just think my life is a joke. Hmm, getting a lot of the uninkables. Alright, pass turn. I know I do need to deal with the Pride Lands just because it is gaining lore every turn. Thank you, where's my Maui? No Mauis, and it's right in the Maui turn too? That is crazy. Oh man, no Maui's. All right. Well, I think I think Stitch is coming down. We got to get this aerial off the board. I do want to put Pride Lands in check for Maui. Uh, well, I'm more likely to play a Tomatoa than I am a Maleficent. Just in pure order of how things come down. I don't want to just throw things onto the board because of all the removal spell that still has. And then Ariel attacks it or are you just going to play another spell? Okay, they're just going to go for a whole new worlds here. They're not going to deck us. We'll both lose the game. Well, he'll lose the game. There's the Maui's I'm looking for. All right, not scared of Pride Lands. Bam, put you in check. Or take you out, put you in check. Uh, they will trade everything with the Maui. Uh, they, they, they probably just have removal in their hand, honestly. But I should get one of these down. Love to get one of these down.
Mm, let's go Popsicle. Just in case. They don't know about the shield yet, so maybe they don't feel threatened to take down the Maui. Like I said, it's probably just going to get hit with removal anyway. Yeah, there it is. Just going to get hit with removal. Costs three to activate anyway. My goodness. Expensive. Wow, opponent's just... Well, that's all the whole new worlds. I just saw them discard one. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> really not what you want to see, but hey, there we go. I got another Maui. There should be two more in the deck, honestly. But our odds of drawing them are really high. Is that Robin Hood gonna take out the Mickey Mouse? Are all my Be Prepareds gone? No, they're not. Only two of them are missing. There's still two in the deck. Alright, put you down. Put you in check. Like I said, I got a really high chance of just drawing another Maui here. Oof, not good. Well, that is a lot of poop sickles, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop one. Of course, then I have to send multiple characters out of Mickey Mouse if they want to take it out. Alright, still two Be Prepareds in the deck. Still two Mauis in the deck as well. There we go, that takes down Maui. <laughs> My targeted removal just isn't that strong when our opponent is so wide. A be prepared off the top honestly would be an absolute godsend. I'll let them blow them up. Doesn't hurt my feelings, they're just popsicles. I think with all this questing, like, it's, it's basically be prepared or bust. When it went really wide on us all of a sudden. Alright, not to be prepared. I think it's bust. I don't have a way to get two things down. Mickey's not taking out anything in, in an attack. Yeah, that's game. The non-stop. <laughs> the the non-stop whole new worlds. That's what did it to us. Going first. Alright. I have a lot of things to put back. Not a great opening hand, honestly. When you have to put back four or more cards, it's not a good sign. Okay. Might be holding on to this fish hook just to attack their locations. But I don't really have anything else to ink. <laughs> well, I guess we're inking Queen because I do have Stitch for my turn two. Not that our opponent's going to actually have anything that we can attack on turn two anyway. So my turn two is honestly going to look like a popsicle, I think. Cinderella. Don't tell me you just inked a one drop and you don't have a one drop. Alright, opponent's going to take all the time in the world. I'm surprised the timer hasn't started yet. And there it goes. Perhaps they believe they pushed the pass turn button. <laughs> I think my turn two, like I said, is always going to be a popsicle. Alright, hoping for a shift queen that's not singing a whole new world. <laughs> so I could take it down with a stitch. But we could see it, we could see shift queen into a whole new world, because that seems to be the opponent's only plan. Yeah, that's their only plan. Just play as many whole new worlds as they can, back to back to back. It's a little annoying, more than anything. This really helps, though. Hmm, neither are particularly useful right now, but I gotta take one.
Don't tell me you got another whole new world. That's for the Mauis. Bare necessity misses. No, it doesn't miss. I gotta develop your brain. And I gotta develop your brain. <laughs> I could take down the aerial so they're not double singing. That might be the best play, honestly. I just give them things to target with their removal spells. There it is. Things to target with the removal spells. <laughs> struggling to hit what I'm looking for. Yeah, not helping. <laughs> well, I think I take the fish hook, so I have the potential to take out the locations without any issues. Honestly, it's the queen and all the free songs and the whole new worlds. That's what's done me in. Pride Lance has done very little to actually help them. <laughs> it's been the queen and just having really great songs. Like their luck for it has been absolutely outstanding. Ooh. I don't really need all these. Expect here him to die. It survives. Uh hmm, a little tricky. Be prepared obviously takes out both things. The dragon takes out Queen and threatens the Pride Lands. Let's not beat around the bush here. Try to get ink. There we go. Something that's not the be prepared, just in case. We do we have seen that they do enjoy going wide. Alright, Dragon also is a good threatening target for Pride Lands. As a one-shotter. Send the Mickey back. I do expect to see Zeus here. Opponent has been incredibly lucky and had everything they've needed. Same thing. Like I said, opponent's been incredibly lucky about having exactly what they need. Dime's not bad, but it's not what I want. It's such an awkward predicament. I could pump Hiram to a four attacker, and it's this turn and next turn Pride Lands is gone. Or I draw cards and play something. So either way, it's looking like looking like I'm gonna have it's gonna be a two turn clock gross <laughs> 80s isn't bad but I think I'm gonna go for Queen Pump Queen, which one's attack? You are attack. Attack the Pride Lands. Alright, it's almost dead. Anything with a fish hook in that Pride Lands gone. Sad Boy Beast is a fantastic target for Hades. Well, let's pump your attack. What I like about taking this out, now Robin Hood just dies. Fantastic. 
I will quest. I will not use the ability. Alright, if I can get this lucky dime down, we'll be in a good spot. Quest. Don't activate. Quest. Don't activate. Fast turn. Got another Benja for me. Whole new world. Oh, they had double whole new worlds. All right. Really not worried about that Bride Lands. Let's see what do I got on the table here. Two, four, five, six. And I can take out a thing. Can I take out two things? Yes, I can. I can take out their whole board. Alright. Well, it looks like I'm taking out their whole board, if I'm being totally honest here. Keeping all of the items for card draw, so we'll get rid of Grandma Tala. Alright, we'll let them choose who dies. Ooh, they really want that Cinderella, don't they? All right, well, Cinderella dies. <laughs> and I'm only gaining four this turn because I spent all my ink, so no lucky dime action. And the concession. Going into game three. Will their luck continue? Probably. The opponent's been wildly lucky in these two games. All right, too early for a be prepared. Too early for you guys. Oh, I don't have any items. So I think I'm just looking for a rush. I'll keep the Hiram just in case. We could, we could be picking up popsicles here. No, nope, we're going to get a whole bunch of uninkables. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a quick way to lose the game. That is definitely not my favorite to see because we're likely just going to see a queen shift seeing a whole new world because it's our opponent's favorite play. So I'm losing two Mauis, two Medusas, and a Lady Tremaine. That's brutal. Those are a lot of my really important pieces. I just inked a Hiram and I got a Hiram in hand. So I have half of all my good cards. They're questing! My goodness, they are questing! It's unheard of. I get a chance to try to do something. I don't really just have a way to do one point of damage. I'm thinking about playing queen and attacking, but I just don't have a way to do one point of damage. Ah, uh, not good, man. Not good at all. It's a lot of uninkables. All right, Bunnin, what do you think? Queen plays a thing. Gonna get that whole new world, aren't you? Don't you know? A Zeus. All right. Well. well, I have no turn three plays, so my opening hand absolute trash. Also had to go second. Like this game three was. I don't want to call it too early, but I think we're destined to lose this this one. This hand's really brutal. Unless our opponent goes really slow, like, maybe? That Stitch is a good top deck. Gonna give up the Hiram. Stitch is good because Queen can be a little obnoxious to deal with, whereas our other characters can deal with things like Ariel, especially the Medusas. Yeah, Fishbone there would have been really nice. All right, well, there goes all of our removal, so we're basically in just a hot mess here now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are doomed. <laughs> Is there any way I can deal with that? No, there's no way I can deal with that. Not until I get to dragon. There's no way I get to dragon in time, not even with a fishbone.
Let's see, I, I just pray my opponent goes really wide and I top deck a be prepared. That's about it. That's about the only way we're getting out of this. Alright, there goes the fish bone. Still got us close enough to hit our be prepared. We just have to get a be prepared. Uh, well, opponent's trying to give me one. Oh, top of the deck too. It's right there. You gonna try to sing again? Yeah, I don't mind you going wide. By the time I'm gonna be able to deal with this pride lens, though, we're gonna be really far behind. <laughs> Yeah, not a not a good opening hand for me. Not a good start by any means. This was a rough one for sure. No, oh, there goes my be prepared. Yep. Lucky Dime's not a threat. They've been really good about keeping control of the board. Alright, Tomatoa. Well, I got a piece of ink for the Maleficent. That'll deal with either one of these. Let's see if they want to shift the Cinderella. Yeah, it takes care of Tomatoa. They're literally just playing Rapunzel to play it. I have one Be Prepared left in the deck. Yeah, we're not going to get that. Alright, and we just lose to everything else. Yeah, we just lose to everything else. Alright, then this cumulatively right there, they just win the game. I want to say well played, but your plays, were, like, your top decks were phenomenal. Very lucky. Like, man, I wish I could play like you. 